In this video, we examine two ways to define the equilibrium constant for gas phase reactions and examine also how uh, you can convert from one form to the other. All right, let's think about a gas phase reaction uh, which is characterized by the following equilibrium. You have a gas A turning into a gas B and the stoichiometric coefficients are low case A and low case B. All right, we have seen that uh, generically, the way that you write the equilibrium constant is by using activities. So you start with the activity of products elevated to the power of the stoichiometric coefficient divided over the activity of reagents, capital A, to the power of the stoichiometric coefficient. And then we just map these uh, activities into useful measures of, measures of concentration, which we have seen that for gases that tends to be uh, partial pressures divided by the reference concentration. Right, so it turns out that um, you can, uh, in, in addition to using partial pressures to express uh, uh, those concentrations, you could actually also use uh, more concentrations. Okay, so um, for instance, we can turn this into uh, two different things. Okay, the first one would be using partial pressures, and that usually is called K sub P. Okay, and that would be simply the partial pressure of B over uh, the reference pressure, which is one bar to uh, the power of B, and then the partial pressure of A over one bar to the power of A. Okay, which again, for convenience, we, sim we simplify si as, as simply P sub B to the B, P sub A to the A. Yep, but you, you can also uh, write here an equilibrium constant which does not make use of partial pressures, instead it, use, it makes use, make use of uh, more concentrations. Okay, so that would be the molar concentration of B over the reference concentration of one molar to the power of B, and then the molar concentration of A over the reference concentration, which is one molar, to the power of A. Okay, so those are two different ways to express uh, the agrarian constant, and they are different. You will get different numbers, but it turns out that you can interconvert between them uh, very simply. Okay, that will be the final expression, the shorthand notation for the equilibrium constant uh, using moral concentrations. Again, it turns out that you can actually, uh, these two uh, equilibrium constants will have different uh, values, but you can interconvert between them uh, relatively easily because it turns out that for a gas, the relationship between a moral concentration and a partial pressure is very simple. Okay? You can use the ideal gas equation of state to see how is that relationship between the moral concentration and the par partial pressure for a gas. Okay, remember that the ideal gas equation of state is equal to PV is equal to NRT, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is the number of moles, R is the gas constant, and then T is the temperature for a particular gas A. Okay, uh, notice that that will be the number of moles of A, and that will be the partial pressure of A. V will be the volume of the container, T is the temperature of, of the gas, and R is the gas constant. All right, so uh, we can do the following transformation in which we simply take N sub A uh, and divide by uh, the volume, and this is equal to the partial pressure of A over RT. Okay, but notice that this N sub A over volume has units of mole per liter, okay, which is ex essentially exactly the same thing as a molar concentration of A. Okay. There's a distinction between the molar concentration of a solid and a gas. For a solid, we, uh, when we say moles per liter, it's moles of the solute A over uh, uh, the volume of the solution. Okay? When you have a gas, the, the volume of the, there's no solution, right? or it's a gas solution. It's not the volume of the, uh, of the solution that we're measuring, it's the volume of the container. Okay? But uh, aside from that, uh, very uh, uh, unimportant uh, difference, Okay, we actually have that the units are the same, and this is truly uh, a moral concentration. Okay, so you can notice how there is a direct uh, proportionality between uh, the partial pressure of a gas and the moral concentration of the gas, and that simply depends on RT. And what that means is that those two equilibrium constants will actually be related in a straightforward manner. Okay, so uh, what we can then do is take this equilibrium constant we have right here, and then try to see uh, how we can uh, put it as a function of the partial pressures and then uh, K sub P. Okay, so starting from here, we say that this uh, K, 
which is the concentration of B to the power of B over the more concentration of A to the power of A, that is going to be the same thing as just replacing uh, these concentrations over the partial pressures over RT. So for B, that will be the partial pressure of B over RT to the power of B divided over the partial pressure of A over RT to the power of A. Okay, and then we can simplify this a little more by noticing that this is simply going to be P sub B to the power of B over P sub A to the power of A multiplied by RT to the power of A RT to the power of B. Come. All right, great. Notice that what we have right here is simply a case of P. Okay? And this term right here, we can uh, simplify to the following. Notice that this is going to be RT to the power of A minus B. Okay? So then we have an expression that looks like this. K is equal to K sub P multiplied by RT uh, a minus B, okay? Or we can do something uh, different, which is to simply exchange those two. K sub P, K, and that means that we have to reverse the sign of this. Okay, so this is going to be uh, B minus A, okay? And this is going to be our final expression. Okay, as a matter of fact, we're actually going to write this, uh, develop this a little more by saying that this is going to be simply k multiplied by rt to the power of delta n, where this delta n is simply the balance of the stoichiometric coefficients from products uh, and reagents. k delta n is the uh, minus a. Okay? And it doesn't have any units. All right, so uh, just to uh, finish off, we're going to write here uh, an example to show how you would convert between K and KP uh, using uh, this recipe that you have right here, again, for an applied reaction, which is going to be the hypersynthesis of ammonia in the gas phase. All right, so erasing all this would have the following. Uh, N2, which is a gas, plus three hydrogens to generate two molecules of ammonia. We're interested in this equilibrium. And again, the question would be, well, uh, uh, suppose that you have uh, the K and you, have, you uh, need to calculate K sub P, how would you do this? Well, we know that K sub P is equal uh, to K multiplied by RT to delta N, where delta N is simply the balance of the stoichiometric coefficients of products minus reagents. Okay, so this delta N would be as follows. You look at all of the products and then add up all of the stoichiometric coefficients. So that is going to be two. And then uh, from this subtract the sum of the stoichiometric coefficients of all reagents, one plus three. Okay, so this is going to be equal to minus two. And then your expression would be, K sub P would be whatever value you have for K. Uh, and again, remember that K is the one expressed in terms of more concentration to RT to the minus 2. That is how you would uh, convert from K to K sub P uh, for that uh, synthesis of ammonia in the gas phase. Right, so in this video we have illustrated how uh, there's generally two ways to uh, express the equilibrium constant for a reaction uh, involving gases. One is using molar concentrations, which is what we use for solids in solution, and another one is for gases. It turns out that for a uh, an ideal gas, uh, more concentration and partial pressure are actually related. They're directly proportional. And that means that uh, that equilibrium constant expressed in uh, terms of partial pressures is going to be related to the equilibrium constant expressed in terms of more concentrations. And it turns out that uh, that uh, relationship, again, depends on this uh, factor RT uh, to the power of delta N, which is just the balance of the stoichiometric coefficients products minus reagents.